I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Western. I'm Riley. And I'm Ella. And we're back with your first newscast back from spring break. We hope you all had a relaxing and exciting break. Welcome back. But don't forget about the upcoming testing. Remember that Wednesday, April 13th, is a mandatory state testing day for 9th, 10th, and 11th grade students. All 11th grade students will take the ACT Work Keys test on Thursday, April 14th. It is a normal full day of school for 9th, 10th, and 12th grade students. On Tuesday, April 19th, all 11th grade students will complete state testing with the M-STEP assessment for both social studies and science. This is a full day of school for 9th through 12th grade students. All room assignments for testing will be posted soon, and teachers have been asked to post this to their Google Classrooms as well. Stay tuned to the announcements for more information. Next, let's talk about the 2022 Annual Student Art Show. This will be the first art show we will have in person in over two years due to COVID. Come see the artwork of our talented warriors and join us for opening night on Tuesday, April 5th from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Refreshments will be served and live music will be provided by our performing arts students. The show will continue until 11 a.m. on Friday. On the last announcement before we left for break, we introduced a special segment to highlight the Western Performing Arts students. Let's head over to Lily with a special congratulations. Today we would like to give a huge congratulations to our Wald Lake Western's Performing Arts Departments. All three band choir and orchestra competed at different festivals and all three scored at the top of the top. Today I'm here with all three directors and let's start with Ms. Stockton. So Ms. Stockton, your choir earned 120 points out of 120 points. How does this make you feel and please share with us a little bit of the hard work that goes into getting such a high score. Um, when I first heard I was actually surprised, not because I didn't think they did a good job, but just because it's really unusual to get such a high score and to have both groups get 120 out of 120. Um, they've been working really hard on this music since January, um, singing and re-singing and fixing. And so um, it was really rewarding to be able to give them that score and congratulate them for all of their hard work. Awesome, great job choir and Mr. Dzinski and Ms. Helm. Your band and orchestras also received top ratings of superior from all four of your judges. What went through your minds when you heard the scoring, and what is one thing that you'd like to say to your band and orchestra? I was really proud of my kids. They did a super job, and they worked really hard through the, the whole process. And uh, especially coming out of the pandemic with the bizarre situation that we were in, this was a really, really um, it's a wonderful show of what, what hard work does. Um, so they, I'm super proud of them and everything they've done. In addition to being such hard workers, as both of the other directors have attested to, um, they also are really talented musicians. And the fact that they have come in every day with such a great work ethic and with a great attitude and being super focused on the goal and we all pulled together and for me this was my first year working with the orchestra so I'm incredibly proud of them um, and it actually was fun and so I want to say to all of those kids your hard work has paid off and we uh, have enjoyed working with you so much and uh, go Wild Lake Western. Thank you all directors for your time, and to the Western Performing Arts students, congratulations. Thanks Lily, and congratulations to the Performing Arts students. There's a new Warrior Den schedule. The Warrior Den will be closed on Mondays, open on Tuesdays, and will be hot pretzel day. Wednesdays will be open, and it's going to be hot cookie day. Thursdays is closed and Fridays is popcorn day. Pretzels will be sold for $2 each. 
cookies for 50 cents, and popcorn for 75 cents. Seniors, remember to submit your pictures to be part of the senior slideshow. This slideshow will be shown at prom and before the senior sunset. Submit school appropriate pictures of your favorite memories from kindergarten through your senior year. Scan the QR code to access the Google form. Let's take a look at this week's Charity Week schedule. Monday is Mismatch Monday. Tuesday is Anything But a Backpack. Wednesday is Purple Out. Thursday is Country vs. Country Club. And Friday is Neon Out. That's all the news we have for you today, Western. Welcome back.